for my previous game videos on Minecraft. I so feel free to look at the tutorials and reviews and all types of crazy stuff. Please like and subscribe. Oh my god. I broke my machine. I got no friends, right? So what I've done is here, I've built a machine to actually make them. So if you follow me guys, I'll just do a tutorial on how to make friends. So the first thing you're gonna need guys is a pickaxe, some shrubs, gonna have to get out your um, compilator and your comparison because you need a comparison your compliers so get out your modifines guys because you're gonna need three of those Hi guys, I am Sarah from 190. Welcome back to my channel. Today I invented this little contraption. It's a cactus farm once again, but this cactus farm needs no redstone or pistons. It simply uses glass blocks and it updates onto that block or well, next to it just like this and it falls straight down into the hopper and into the chest. And this is AFK and it's very efficient and you can leave it there day or night. This one here, however, you can see that I'm using pistons. The reason why is that sugarcane does not update the same way cactus does, which I think is cactus. But nonetheless, if you want it to work, you just simply put a daylight sensor on top of each and every one of those regular pistons. I'm out of breath. Okay, slow down. Let's start again. Okay, guys. Hi, I'm Sir from Manair. Today, I'd like to show you how to build this thing. So what you need is a hopper faced into this chest by crouch placing <gasps> and then you need to get another one I'm sorry guys I gotta learn to breathe <sighs> alright guys so what I'm doing here I'm actually putting dirt blocks around every single part of this hopper just like this because we're actually gonna put flowers on each and every one of those dirt blocks so that we can put up our sand blocks okay so let's get going this one's for the cactus okay so let's build the cactus farm real quick and let's get out a dirt block sand block I'm sorry and put the sand block on top of every single one of these mofos like this uh, that's right I'm in creative I can fly there you go okay now before you can plant um, your sugarcane we'll do sugarcane first before you can plant sugarcane you need water so I'm actually gonna put an ice block there and melt it now I can actually plant the sugarcane around like so there we go now sugarcane can be updated with this with a regular piston so let's just build up like this one over one up and right here and here break these ones away and just leave it there like this guys it's perfect and now you just put a daylight sensor on the top and bleh and, <laughs> and at night time it will grow and in the daytime it will shut again, pushing all of the sugarcane into the center and it will drop through the water straight down into the hopper. And if you want to keep building levels, it's not difficult. You can add as many levels as you wish. Right here you can see I'm adding another level using dirt block on top and I'm doing the exact same method all over again. So here we go, so I'm putting the sticky pistons facing into the center where the glowstone is. And then I'm just going to put the daylight sensors on top of every single one of these pistons. Is it a question? No. So why am I saying it like a question? Ah, oh, bad habits die hard, don't they, you guys? So what I'm doing here is putting the sugar cane in, I'm planting them. I can now get rid of that glowstone if I wish. Now I can break these dirt blocks away also, and everything will stay up. And as I said, you can add as many layers as you wish, which is insane. So you could also change it up a little bit and add cactus in between the levels. So this is how you do the cactus one. It's actually a little bit easier because it's very simple. Gee whiz. Okay, it's not a question, guys. It's serious. I'm being serial. All right, so break these ones away. And so you got your hopper going into a chess or a double chess. It's totally up to you guys. I prefer more, so bigger is better. Double chess it is. Then you can put your cactus on the sand blocks. The only difference is instead of using stick, uh, regular pistons and a daylight sensor, it's much less on resource. All you need to do is get a glass block or a dirt block and put them behind every single part. You do that to keep it efficient so you don't lose the cactus. The problem with cactus though, guys, is that sometimes the cactus, when it breaks off, will you'll lose it when it runs into the other cactus. 
So you can actually put a water block on top of each cactus to stop this from happening. And there you have it guys. I totally hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I've got asthma so I'm sorry I'm out of breath. And um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And please like and subscribe. It really helps me live. And I like to live. I'm Sarah from 1 and I. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Uh, okay? Peace out. I'm out.